In this video, I will provide an example for how to create a DGN lib that will produce this type of drawing. So I have two plan views and two profile views all on the same sheet. This training follows some training that we already provide. So this is on our wiki page and under the training links right here at the workspace setup which is under this tab, we have a drawing production seat seed, sheet seeds that show you how to create all of these different types of DGN libs you might need for your drawing production. So this video is combining the plan plan video, the profile profile video, and the plan and profile. It's putting all of those into one to where we have all four of those on the same sheet. It also goes through profile frame annotation. It's already, we're using what is delivered in this video. If you want more information on how to create frame annotation, just watch this video right here to get started. So how do we come up with this? To start out, you need to first figure how your title block cell will be configured. So here's the title block cell that I created and I put these different blocks for where my two plan and my two profile and the frame annotations will go for my title block and I put them on the construction class. So the first step is to create this dot cell file and like I said, you can watch the other videos to get more information on that. So the next step is I need to go where all of my DG and libs are created and in the Bentley delivered workspace, this is where they are. I'm going to go to the DGN, the plan or profile start seed, and I'll just copy and paste it, and I'll rename it and create it as a DGN lib. And you can rename it however you want. I will name it plan plan and profile profile sheet definitions 50 scale dot DGN lib. So now that I've created it, I'll open it in Open Nerds Designer. So I'll just go to File, Open, and I'll browse to that location. Now that the DGN is loaded, we'll start with creating the plan name boundary. So I'll click name boundary, go to civil plan, and I want to set my detail scale to one inch equals 50 feet. I'm going to give it a unique name. I'll call it plan plan and profile profile. And then in caps, I'll put plan so that I know this is the plan version of my name boundary. So I'll data point to identify the path element. I want it to start at 0, 0. My stop location is going to be at station 5 plus 25 because the length of my name boundary is 525, which corresponds to the, the cell I created right here. So I'm keeping it at 525. I want to give it a unique name. I'll call it plan. I want create drawing checked and I'll data point to create it. So now I want to change the discipline to civil and the purpose to plan view. I want to make sure that the annotation right here is set to one inch equals 50, no annotation group. And then I want my detail scale to also be one inch equals 50 and I will click OK. So now this opens the model and we don't have the cell file. So now we need to add the cell file so that we can have the title block. So I'll go to place it and I'll open the cell file and I'm gonna grab this plan plan that I created and I'll just snap it into the sheet model and right click to reset. So now I want to move this to the correct location within the cell. So I'll open up my references, go to move reference, and I'll snap it in place, reset. Doesn't look like it quite snapped.
and then I can select the drawing boundary and just drag it over there and resize it. Okay, so now we have one plan drawing boundary in here. We still need another plan and two profiles. So let's go back to the multi-model view and we're going to add a profile next. So under drawing production, name boundary, I'll go to profile, set my detail scale to one each equals 50. And for profile, I'm also going to give it a unique name, plan, plan, and profile, profile, in all caps, profile. This is gonna be from plan group. I'm selecting my plan group that I already named previously. And I can give this one a name as profile. So first I need to identify the profile view. So I'll identify it. Let me add this back to profile. My vertical exaggeration is five. Available profile height according to the cell is 60 and everything can stay the same. So I'll just follow through these prompts. Now here, I wanna change my mode to profile. And you can see this name says plan-1. I want that to be named profile. So I'll delete that and add profile to match the name that I have right here. So under discipline, I'll select civil. And then for purpose, I'll select profile view. You may need to type it in in older versions. Set my annotation scale. And then this is where I'm going to choose my frame annotation. So I have go down, select my frame, frame profile for my annotation group. And then I also want to sell, set the detail scale to one inch equals 50. Come up to the sheets right here, which is very important. And I need to select the sheet that I've already created for the plan and hit OK. OK, now I need to do the same thing where I'm just moving the reference. So I'll just open this up and snap this into place. Reset. And then just need to move the drawing boundary over and resize it. Now to get the other two in here, I'm gonna switch my workflow up here to admin and then under drawing setup, select place boundary. I'll leave this as default. I'll change the name. I'm gonna place my plan first. So I'll just call it plan B, call it whatever you want. Drawing type, this is civil plan and the detail scale is one inch equals 50. And I'll draw it in, and then I data point to place the drawing boundary right there. Okay, now I want to switch this to profile, so I'll give it a name. I'll call it Profile B. My drawing type is Civil Profile, and I will draw it in and reset to complete. So now you can see I have the four different boxes here and I have enough room for my frame annotation. So the last step we can do is just to turn off the construction classes and then do a save settings. And now we can test it out. Now that I have my DGN loaded, I'll go to my drawing production workflow, go to name boundary, and I want to place my plan name boundary first. So I'll select plan. For my drawing seed, I want to select the one that I just created. And you can see it automatically sets the detail scale. So I'm going to identify the path element, lock to the start, and I'm going to draw two name boundaries. And we do not want to create the drawing yet. OK, now we need to create the profile. So I'll come over and select my profile view change my drawing seed to the profile when I created, and I want to make sure create drawing is checked. And then I'll click OK. And you can see here that it created my sheet where I have the two plan views and the two profile views and they're annotated using the frame annotation.